seen somebody go past here. Yeah, I know, but he's moving really quick. And I heard a guttural sounding, uh, beastly sound. Have you ever used a Ouija board? Yes. I'm not that size, I'm that size. Someone has seen this figure. The man that you've contacted should be on the lower levels. Oh, no. oh God, I still have quite a lot. deep breaths. This week, the rescue mediums visit Agent Court, where something or someone is haunting the sleepy suburban home. When we were sleeping, and we heard a loud, growling voice. It was a very sort of a guttural sounding, uh, beastly sound. I was speaking a language that I couldn't understand. Suddenly, uh, something swooshed right between us. And Alex said, Mom? Is that Kristen? And I didn't want to scare him, so I said, yeah, that's Kristen, go to sleep. The rescue mediums are on their way to help. That was a ride and a half, wasn't it? <laughs> it felt like a monkey <laughs> Jackie and Christine are internationally renowned psychics who spend their days and nights showing wayward spirits into the light. It was about one o'clock. I just turned off my TV and I heard a big bang. So I, I came out here to see what it was and there was a ball dead center in the middle of the carpet. And the ball had stopped right in the middle of the landing, almost as if somebody had stopped it and put their hand on it. The rescue mediums have been given no knowledge whatsoever of the place they are about to visit. Is it? Is it? Yep. Even the name of this city suburb has been kept secret until now. Because it has no lovely leaves or a bare tree. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear, maybe we should give it a hug. <laughs> oh, we've got to hug the tree. You've got to hug the tree. <laughs> there you go. But days earlier, they did have some interesting premonitions. And a feeling of doom with this. Oh. Mm. Don't like the sound doom. of this one already. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got somebody's name that's called out, so somebody hears spirit. Yeah. Yeah. A large picture or painting of a lady on a wall. A connection to an artist. Weeks before, as another form of premonition, they have created these psychic drawings of what they expect to encounter on their visit. You were saying something about a black shadow. A cloaked figure that's seen you've yeah. drawn that. This, somebody that's has it. seen this. I've actually got it written down, a yeah. shadow, a cloaked figure yeah. that is seen. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. that, that's definitely a vision. I've seen something standing over here, like a shape. I've woken up and seen like a, a little child just sort of peeking over the edge of the bed. I've had somebody lift the covers off, people squeezing my toes, and I've had uh, the bed uh, shake. Armed with their premonitions, the rescue mediums get closer to their destination and closer to the suburban home where some family members are slightly skeptical. It could be uh, uh, mental, it could be physical, no, no way of knowing. Who knows what uh, things go bump in the night. Not the biggest uh, uh, believer in, in these things, but I mean, I've certainly seen things with my own eyes uh, to raise doubt in, in my own beliefs. I hope when the rescue mediums come that they can confirm that what that we're not crazy people. That something would be resolved, so maybe there's less worrying coming in the future. Not make the spirits go away, deal with them, and not be afraid of them. Jackie and Christine are the rescue mediums. Hello. Hello. Psychics who make house calls. Hi, Jackie. Hi. Jackie. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Come, come, come on in. <laughs> come on in. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. The rescue mediums sit down with the homeowners to discuss their premonitions. All right. Someone has seen this figure. Oh, dear. And I feel very sorry for them. 
Well, I've been getting a creepy feeling. Don't tell us any more oh. than that then. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just for now. I'm not saying yes. <laughs> and connection to an artist. I'm an artist. You're an artist. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> a hanging tree. A hanging tree. Before they had good gallows, word. you know, they would use a tree that had a good, good branch on them. Yeah. So whether that's um, in the past around here, we uh, we might we might find out. Okay. Yeah. Is it okay if we have a look round? Oh, yeah. yes, for sure. Yes. Yes. Okay. The rescue mediums begin their investigation. Please. Look, look at the faces. These are faces. And encounter a sinister spirit. I'm not that size, I'm that size. Who has come from the underworld. What, you've just seen just it now? Wick. The rescue mediums have been called to a quiet suburban home. Hello! Where they believe a sinister spirit is haunting this family. Someone has seen this figure, and I feel very sorry for them. Hmm, OK. The rescue mediums begin their investigation on the upper floor, where most of the spirit activity has been reported. Here. Jackie senses something in the hallway. Is there a window open? Do you know you can actually feel the change in atmosphere, can't you, there? Yeah. It's like there's an energy draining, isn't there? As, along right here. There, there. Yeah. yeah. It's as if it's just draining. Because here it's different. I feel okay here. Oh, I'm fine here. Yeah. It's there. And actually, there is a spot where it hits you. Yeah. And then your legs just want to go like that. Following the sensation, the rescue mediums enter the homeowner's painting studio. Ooh. Painting of a lady. They find a woman's portrait, just as Christine had predicted. Oh, oh my God. Look. Look at the faces. These are faces. Oh. Oh, God, I don't like that one. No, look at that one there, no, look, no. look. I know. Do you know that's almost a bit like, you know, like you would imagine, like the devil? Yeah. Um, well, I, I painted the picture and I showed it to my daughter, Kristen, and she said, I love the picture, Mom, but I really like the faces. And I said, what faces? She says, there are faces in the clouds. And then I looked carefully and I realized that there's, there's six or seven faces that I didn't put there on purpose. They kind of just appeared. Jackie and Christine are being drawn to the core of the spirit activity. Yeah. Mari's bedroom. Oh, dear. Well, I, have to, I have to go and touch that. Oh, then, <laughs> be my guest. I want to do that. No, that's funny because as you've done that, I, f I wanted to say I can that cold feeling. I can feel now oh, coming behind. Yeah, well, like and you did that at the same time. Anger, you know, in this mm. really shaking. I wonder if I wonder if they've experienced. I don't know. They sense that something powerful and sinister is with them. I have just got a strong impression of somebody going straight across there. Oh, that fast movement, fast. exactly the same thing, straight across there. Okay. I'm not that size. I'm that size. Oh. Not unless somebody's crouching. Oh, don't, please. <laughs> Gotta be cruel. Oh, no. It gets worse. <laughs> I think this gentleman walks around the whole of the house. I see the Ouija again. Okay. Mm. And we haven't asked. No. And we need to. Somebody is messed again. Yeah. The rescue mediums feel that this spirit was accidentally summoned from the underworld. They encounter it again on the main floor. It's like, you know, with the bedpost, or really? Oh, I like anger. It's the male with the anger. <laughs> oh, yeah. OK. That's very strong. We're going to have to watch this. In the hopes of identifying this menacing presence, they descend into the basement, perhaps the spirit sanctuary. What? Have you just seen something? Straight across there. Wait. Really fast. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. I think that's that the, the guy. What's the matter? I've just seen somebody go past here. E, I know, but he's moving really quick. E J B. Yeah. It's the name of the guy who they've brought forward. You know, I don't mean to sound awful, but I'm s like you would on a, on a noose. I'm swinging. God, I feel so ill. Do you want to sit down? In an unusual turn of events, the rescue mediums will confront the homeowners. Have you ever used a Ouija board? Yes. Yes, they have. A family who may have unwittingly let this ominous spirit into their home. Oh, God. Oh, the rescue mediums have uncovered a sinister presence in this tranquil suburban community. I'm not that size, I'm that size. A dark, menacing spirit who was unknowingly summoned from the afterlife. I see the Ouija again. In order to solve the mystery, they decide to question each family member individually. This is all very painless. <laughs> Hi, Kristen. Hi, uh, thank you for doing this. <laughs> um, without telling us too much, have you ever used a Ouija board? Yes, I have. Have you ever used a Ouija board? No. Good boy. Good for you. <laughs> have you ever used a Ouija board? Yes. Yes. When did you use a Ouija board? Probably two or three years ago. Uh, how many times have you used a Ouija board? Probably about three or four times. Has that been used in this house? Yes, it has. Were you trying to contact someone? The one time that there was actually contact made was when I was doing it with my mother. You contacted a male spirit through the Ouija board? Yes. The rescue mediums identify Mari as the key to the sinister presence. <sighs> the man that you've contacted should be on the lower levels of the spirit world. But at the moment, he's not. He's in limbo. Mm -hmm. And because you have contacted him, he now has free will to come to this home. Oh. He lied to you, basically. Mm -hmm. OK? OK. This is because this man is, is not facing up to some of the things that have happened to him and what he's done in his life. I see. He needs help in getting to the place that he should be, basically. Because Mari accidentally enabled the spirit's presence, the rescue mediums ask her to participate in its departure. Jackie prepares her for the rescue. Inside your head, you've got a ball of light. And this ball of light is going to travel right down through your head and your neck, right through your body, through your legs, into your feet. And then when you get to your feet, you're going to grow roots deep into the ground. That is going to ground you to this earthly plane. You're perfectly safe, nothing is going to happen to you. I'm going to fill the whole of this room with light. Chris, what's wrong? It's okay, I'm just with the guy. Okay. I'm okay, I'm, I just. The rescue mediums unite their psychic forces with Mari. To come forward. And they begin to fill the room with light. a little bit because my heart's starting to race a little bit now. The rescue begins. Can you just ask him to come forward, Mary, please? Come forward, please. Don't go I, to that memory, please. I, I, can f I can feel the sway coming from both of you, actually. Oh, no. my, heart, my heart's racing. Your it's heart's okay. racing. They start to sense the spirit's grisly demise. He just needs to move away from this. You need to move away from this last memory. We know that you hung, but you have to move away from that. Mary, will you tell him to go forward towards the light, please? Because he can hear your voice. Go toward the light. The troubled spirit is pulling Christine into his final earthbound moments. Oh, I've got pain in my chest. Ow. Tell him to take it away. And take it off. That is the point of death, Chris. Tell him to take it off. Take it off. Oh, God. It's take so some deep lot. breaths. Tell me it's going. Oh, Jesus. 
tell them to take it. I don't it. think it, I think we just need to get him through to the light, Jack. Okay. Wasn't? Okay. Yeah? Yep. Mary, can you tell him to walk forward again, please? Walk, walk forward to tell the him. light. Good. I have the light. Good. Can you see the light? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Finally, the spirit is released, sent back to where he came from. Seal it so he can't come back. Doubly. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Are you all right? Yeah. My, heart, so... my heart slowed right down. Did yes. it? Yeah. I haven't yeah. crossed your hand, have I? No. <laughs> I'm sorry if I have, but no, that no. was excruciating. Very... I have to sit you, down. That was right? very, very, very painful. Are you all right now? It's a lot, lot better. I feel like I want to uh, laugh or something. Well, yeah. Laugh. <laughs> That's not that good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We very often feel happy after a rescue. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's a release. You will yeah. find yeah, the whole atmosphere yeah. of the house like a, will lift. Everything's tingling, my face yeah. and yes. my hands and yeah. everything. God, I'm so Yeah. You can cry if you want, uh, my love. Yeah. <laughs> release it. Yeah. Release it. Yeah. The rescue mediums will tell the family who the spirit was. Slowly started to make sense. And why he had come to them. The rescue mediums have encountered a menacing presence. Straight across there. Called forth from a Ouija board that was used in the suburban home. Have you ever used a Ouija board? Yes. Now, with the aid of independent research, they will tell the homeowners who this sinister spirit was. Okay, slightly um, intriguing and uh, complicated story. <laughs> um, we said that you were an artist. A connection to an artist. A large picture or painting of a lady on a wall. The homeowner, Mari, has been painting since 1975. But since her encounter with a Ouija board, the rescue mediums believe her work was being influenced by a spirit's hand. Look, look at the faces. These are faces. You know, like you would imagine, like the devil. I know. Jackie and Christine believe that this influence was finding itself in more than just Mari's paintings. When we were upstairs coming out of your bedroom, we were felt drawn to the landing. It, it was very cold there, and we, we saw a figure shoot past, but sort of crouch down. Wow. And not that size, and that size. Not unless somebody's crouching. Oh, don't, please. <laughs> Slowly it started to make sense. I see the Ouija again. Okay. We're given the name of Edward in the premonitions. Um, there was also the initials of E J B. E J B. Yeah. It's the name of the guy who who they've brought forward. Um, the thing is, that was the gentleman that you contacted with the Ouija board. By using the Ouija board, the rescue mediums believe that Mare had opened a portal, thus enabling the dark spirit of Edward Jardine to enter the earthly plane. His name was uh, Edward Jardine, and he murdered Elizabeth Anderson. Edward Jardine was found guilty of murdering a young woman by strangling her after taking her to the fair on September the 20th, 1910. This is the murder. That's... Lizzie Elizabeth Anderson. The woman, Elizabeth Anderson, bears some similarity to the psychic drawing that Christine had created weeks earlier. One she had remarkably labeled victim. In this murderous attack, Jardine alleges, was due to a fit of temporary insanity. And later, realizing his deed, he fled from the building to his home, where he washed the blood from his hands as Jackie and Christine had sensed in the rescue. And in this psychic sketch, Edward Jardine had been hanged for his crime. And remember guys, those from the lower levels mm -hmm. use the Ouija mm -hmm. to, to communicate. I'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Do I have to have a word with Santa? Are you sure? <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, you believe now? Far more convinced <laughs> in the, the spiritual world now than I must be. Good, good. Excellent. Yeah, please have an open mind. 
Peter has one last request for the rescue medium. Am I going to be able to play the accordion any better now? <laughs> I really would like to. <laughs> no. No. Jackie and Christine begin to leave. <laughs> but we've got a ghost that cares that we're going to get wet. <laughs> Christine puts the friendly spirit back in its place. Bye. Thank you, Thank you so for much coming. for coming. Thank you for coming. And they bid the homeowners farewell. Yes. Yes. Lovely to meet you. Bye. Bye-bye, <laughs> Peter. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cold. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, it's one of those nights. <laughs> oh, where do we catch the bus? <laughs> Having lifted the atmosphere in the suburban home, Jackie and Christine make one last stop. Yeah, let's get inside. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It was very interesting, yeah. Very cryptic. It was very cryptic, it was. There's nothing cryptic about this. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>